a friend's hunting cabin this morning and we're driving down the interstate and wondered if y'all notice what we notice um, when we leave out. So it's uh, 9.30 in the morning on a Saturday and um, what we think is really neat is that there's one vehicle in front of us and I think one behind us and uh, it's not real crowded. The other day we came out this way too and uh, there was not even anybody around us so we thought we'd share what the interstate looks like. This is Interstate 95. Does it go all the way to Florida? It goes all the way to Florida, Tim says. I bet it's a lot different on the Florida end right now. <laughs> <laughs> to get a new vehicle again we make sure we had that adaptive cruise control for sure 
was looking online that were not in motorcycles. Some of them even have it. Uh, the type that I had, I didn't have cruise control. I didn't even have, offer it at the time because mine was a 2004. But now they've got adaptive cruise control on that particular version of the motorcycle. And uh, oh, it's got the push button device where if you go from a paved road to a dirt road, you just push a button. If you go uh, from a dirt road to a curvy road, you press a button and it changes the, the handling characteristics. If it starts raining, you push a button for a wet road. Oh, it's crazy. They're smart now, for sure. Yeah. One of them, uh, Honda Goldwing, even offers an airbag on the motorcycle. And I don't know about anybody else, but I would not want a motorcycle with an airbag. <laughs> It'll send you right off the back well, of that thing. I mean, there's times if you had to lay that thing down, I want away from it. And you may get sunk with an airbag have somewhat of a difficult time getting away from that thing. I, I wouldn't want it. I wouldn't want an option of that. It seemed like it just pushed you right off the back and you would lose all control or well, possibilities I don't know the characteristics of, of it, but I don't want it. <laughs> we get to see a little bit of the other side of the interstate right here.
catch y'all later. So, so we got off the interstate and this is, what town is this? What does it say? Oakfield. Oakfield. So um, out this way are a lot of Amish families. And uh, they have an Amish store, which we visit on occasion. And uh, they have several. Uh, they have a big old fruit and vegetable market. They have some beautiful furniture um, stores where they have their homemade or whatever made furniture, Amish made furniture. Lovely, lovely. Look at these rows of trees. I think they're so pretty where they're in rows. It's kind of hard to see. There we go. <laughs> spring thaw right now so the ground is um, thawing uh, and a lot of overflow Let's see. vegetables and places like that yeah. when the gardens come in time to plant the potato fields so we've noticed a lot more machinery at the big fields and they're getting ready now they may pre-treat the ground or something I don't really know their process but we've noticed that there's a lot of action going on at the big old potato farms
as we finish up the last leg of our trip here, I want to tell you what the plans are for the day. Our friends are going to take us into the woods. Um, there's a lot of logging trails and logging roads, and so we're going to go up and down some of those and just see if we see any animals or just what we see and just enjoy the day out and about. I'm not going to record any of that because um, that's just awkward. You know, we're just going to be hanging out with our friends. But anyway, I'll let you know at the end how things turned out. These are moose antlers. Tim saw a matching set laying down in the woods, just inches apart. And our friends helped me uh, find this one that I'm holding too. So we came away with three moose antlers. Well, this finishes up our video. This is a picture we took in Weeksboro and they're at the train track and so we had a great time with our friends and we'll catch you later we passed these road signs and i managed to get a good picture of them the weirdest road signs ever well at least this first one and the second one i thought maybe you hadn't seen before but they're up here all over <laughs> all right bye for now